Jerry, I, I know this never has happened to you, but I was so overwhelmed, I stopped breathing and I couldn't talk. <laughs> You know, and he he asked me something, and I tried to get it out. I, I couldn't get it out. I couldn't talk. I mean, just I didn't have a breath. Yeah, how he, because I've got asthma. And, and how he looked over, he said, "You need your inhaler." <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know that I've ever seen that expression. <laughs> okay, but I've seen it take your breath away. <laughs> you told me one time. You said, "Do you have any idea what's on my shoulder?" but I'm trying to decide to go for two or what? And I said, yeah, when a banknote's due <laughs> and you don't have no money. Hey, hey, I've got to just throw this out. Do you remember 32 years ago, we were riding in your vehicle in Little Rock, Arkansas, two days before you bought the Cowboys. And you said, Jimmy, we pull this off We'll make sports history. And we did. Okay. We made sports history. I'll tell you, uh, uh, I didn't realize before we got to the history that we were going to have a bump or two <laughs> along the way. But we did have enough sense to know that uh, the Cowboys were so meaningful, especially in the Dallas area. What I never have gotten used to is how meaningful the Cowboys are around the country. Right. But we did say, boy, they're down. If we can get them going back up, then Dallas will go up, and we can go up, and <laughs> we can ride with it. And, and, and it helped that we got us a quarterback. <laughs> oh, just a little. Just glad to see you two just together right now. It's good for all <laughs> Cowboys fans to be watching hey, this. Let me, let me step out of the comfort zone just a touch here. Both of you are so loved as cowboy owner and coach, especially, and I live in the Dallas area, even though I'm in Oklahoma. And, and I agree with Troy, seeing the two of you, it's almost like y'all want to grab and kiss one another because there truly is love and affection and a respect between the two of you. And all the cowboy fans are asking right now, Jerry, when are you going to put Jimmy in the ring of honor? Well, I think that's fair to say. Uh, shall we do it right here? Or shall Absolutely. We, how, how's it? We've got time. we got thing. plenty of time. <laughs> well, you pick the game, I think we can go. <laughs> yeah. I, I think we've got some great days ahead of us. Yeah. I know we are going to certainly be recognizing what's happening here with the Hall of Fame. Uh, but uh, Tex Ram, who started that ring of honor, said, Jerry, keep it keep it kind of limited with people but make sure it wasn't just about the plays they made make sure they contributed to the story of the franchise now it's kind of hard to not recognize <laughs> this contribution to the story of the franchise no doubt so are we making an announcement here well we can be if we can i don't know how we're going to upstate no yeah you can go ahead make the announcement that, but we'll be in the ring of honor there we go. Jerry, All right. we'll, we go. Love it. Yeah. You heard it here. Yeah, I will be there first. while I'm alive. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to be able to make it through this Hall of Fame ceremony? <laughs> Well, look, Troy, you know, you know all about this relationship. You got to see the ups and the downs and this kind of thing. But you can see how much it meant. We talk about the fans of the Dallas Cowboys, but you as a former player, that shot of you with a tear coming down your eye, I think, made that moment even more special that day. Yeah, and I, I still get emotional when I see that because I, I know what Coach meant to the success of those teams, and I know how much it meant to him to go into the Pro Football Hall of Fame and for that to happen the way that it happened on national television and I didn't know that it was going to be told nobody did I guess you're the only one who did I was told to just tune into the halftime and as soon as I saw David Baker but it was really more Jimmy's reaction because we've had a lot of talks and <laughs> and I wasn't sure it was ever going to happen and he was going to get his due so just knowing all the emotion that came pouring out of him it, it was hard for me to hold back and I and I will say just to continue with this conversation that they've been having it wouldn't have happened our successes wouldn't have happened and every t player that was on those teams knows that Michael Emmett and everyone else it took both of these guys 
in order for us to achieve. Jimmy couldn't have been the coach that he was had it not been for Jerry and his ownership. And Jerry wouldn't have been the owner that he was had it not been for Jimmy as the head coach. And and we were the beneficiaries of that. And I'm just glad to see these two together. It's what we've all been hoping for. And it's a great weekend for Jimmy and we're honoring him. And and and, and I will say that you know being there being the guy who's at the shortest tenure with Jimmy on the show even watching that back had me tearing up because i have talked to you about it as well and, and I know how important and special it was in that moment to see your emotions because you're not you're not the guy that really shows his emotions no. like that so to see it and in, in front of us really meant the world to me because the only time I've ever seen tears around you is me crying when your Cowboys were beating up on my Giants <laughs> but <laughs> but I will say it, it is it is an, it is an honor to sit here with all three of you because I've competed yeah. against you on the field and 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 as a coach and I've been around all of you off the field and no three deserving to represent the organization like you three with this gold jacket and Jimmy I'm so happy for you we all are so happy for you you well, deserve this so much hey, it's an honor it's an honor to be with the Hall of Famers it's an honor to be with special special people I mean I don't have enough words, you know, to tell you how I feel. Not bad for a guy from Port Arthur, Texas. Huh? Oh boy! <laughs> you want me to give you some words? I got words. <laughs> I got words. <laughs> Jerry, you and, and Jimmy have known each other since you were freshmen in college. I mean, basically yeah. your whole adult life. What made you believe that he was something special way back when? Well, uh, when uh, before the Cowboys, uh, when Frank Brawls was changing coaches at Arkansas. I would go and visit with Coach Brawls, and I would say, Coach, your coach is Jimmy Johnson. Uh, he was your bridge playing partner while he was in college. Right. You know, you know what he can be. And so uh, he made a different decision as he goes. When we did get together, Jimmy said, Jerry, he said, um, I'd sell insurance with you. I don't even think we had an agreement. A no, an agreement for months. We we never talked money. No, we never we never talked time. No, not at all. And we were just really proud to get together. I think I would say, here we had our great coach Landry leaving, and I would say, Jimmy's going to be worth five Super Bowls. <laughs> well, he got you two of them, and the third one on the way out the door. And so we Thank were you. so we were sold on each other. But I want to say this: he gave it everything he had and more. And we, the Cowboys, and Jerry Jones are a beneficiary of that. You're all there. Nice. It was a soft announcement, but my name's not Murdoch. I tell you, if you do it on a Sunday, putting him in the ring of honor, Jerry, Fox will make a commitment to be there. All right?